Hello everyone, uh, I guess this is my first video tutorial and this time I'm going to show you how to make a really cool halo spotlight effect as you can see rendering here. Um, so I, I guess we should, we should probably get started. So I'm going to cancel this because it's taking a long time. Open a new blender window. Okay, so here we just have the basic setup. Uh, I just want to show you guys how to do something really simple and hopefully fast. So, delete the default cube, add, uh, I guess, text, so space add text. Then you type in something cool, like, um, I don't know, Gyre Falcon 23. That's good. Push tab to get out of edit mode, and then when you want to rotate something really fast, you push, in this case, R, then X, and then 90. And then you push 1 on the numpad to switch your view. Over in your menu, you go down to Panels, and you click Not Logic, Not Script, Not Shading, Not Object, but Editing. So you go to Editing, or push F9, and you go here, over on the right side, or for you it might be on the bottom. And you go into this box that says Font, and to the left of that or above it, you should see Curve and Surface. We don't want to mess with the font right now because it's it's acceptable, so you in the Curve and Surface um, box, we do need to mess with something. Uh, under Width, you go to Extrude, and you type in uh, maybe 0 0.5. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I was interrupted, but in the meantime, I left it rendering, and this is the final result. I don't know, it's pretty cool. But, um, so, anyway, back to what we were doing. <sighs> if you set the, the, the mesh to extrude, uh, you get something like this, it turns the text into a 3D mesh. That's a little bit too much, so I think we should go 0 0.05. That's more like it. And also, bevel depth, 0 0.01. So now we have a nice 3D mesh, with a cool name on it, and... Push 1 on your numpad to center your view, horizontal, and then push Control alt 0 to center your your camera. Actually, that's not quite right. Okay, uh, you, you select your text, and under Curve and Surface, go to Center. Then push Period on your numpad, and then push Control at zero. That'll center your camera. And right, select your camera, go to the camera menu, still under F9, and set the lens to 20. So now, what we have is our camera set up to look at our font when we render it. It should come up like this. We can leave the font, the lamp like that if we want, but I think we should move it down in front of the text so it lights up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, so now that's all the work is done. What we need to do is, you can move your view if you want. But select your text, and then space, add, lamp, spot. So that gives us the spotlight. Then, alt, r, to clear the rotation. And then do the same thing with the rotation again. r, x, 90. And this time it has to be negative, so push the negative key. Now the spotlight's pointed towards the camera. It should look something like this. Of course, you, you, you can't see it, but we'll take care of that later. Um, move the spotlight along the y-axis to put it back behind the letters and then go to the materials menu which is shading F5 so push F5 and um, you want to make sure it's under lamp here at the bottom under the shadow and spot box you want to here, that should be better. Shadow and spot, you need to go to um, 
on the left, towards the bottom, there's a box that says Halo. You should click that, and then to the right of that, Halo step should be set to 3. Now let's render again. Sorry, I, my computer's kind of occupied. There we go. So now we get the cool flare effect that we saw before. Uh, that's the basics. If you want to add extra stuff, you go to shading and then go to the world, which is the little earth icon. You should set the background color over here to black. That makes it look nicer. So now you can see the contrast. And to get it like how I did it, I just select the lamp again, go back to the lamp, and here where it has a white box, click that and set it to red. So that looks like this. It's pretty cool. And <clears throat> If you want to add extra cool stuff like movement, you should push 7 on your numpad and then 5 to turn it back to perfect angles or whatever. Oops. Grab the lamp, move it a little bit forward and sort it to the left, and make sure your frame is set to 1 by pushing down on the arrow keys a little bit. Push I, and then just do the first one, location. Then maybe set your frames over to 40, move it to the right a little ways, and then do the same thing again. So now what you have is a little moving spotlight, and if you want to animate that, it'll look something like this. Just click animate. And eventually it'll go all across the screen if you did it right. Um, to get it look like how I had it before, uh, all I did was I added a plane under the text, added a texture, added some extra lights, and I also added a texture to the to the letters. And that's basically it. Uh, I hope this tutorial helps you in some way. If it doesn't, you can leave me a comment or send me an angry message, but I don't know. Have a, have a nice day, and I hope your blundering goes well. Bye.